Hi all, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to design uh, pads and pad frames for any layout. So first of all I will be giving some name here uh, pad and uh, the view here you have to take is uh, layout, press ok. So first of all I will be showing you how to design pad then we will go for pad frames. So let us say you have to design a chip of area of 0.75 mm by 0.75 and uh, let's suppose that uh, we have six pad cells therefore each pad cell must be 1.5 micrometer while, while choosing the width and length of uh, pad cell that is 1.5 micrometer i am taking here you have to make sure that uh, it is not crossing the uh, total area chip that is 0.75 millimeter by 0.75 millimeter so uh, to be in safe zone what i am doing here is i am taking the pad uh, width and length 120 micrometer instead of 125 micrometer. So for that, first of all, we will go here. We'll type pad here. So this pad drawing, I'm going to select pad layer here, and I'll press R. R is for rectangle, and I'll just draw on rectangle, and uh, I'll go to the properties of this, and uh, I'll make it 120 by 120. Okay, apply and okay. So you can, uh, if you want, you can align it at origin also. So that's not mandatory. So the, the, this is the pads layer which I have drawn, and uh, actually this pad layer has no fabric significance. So we actually don't need it. Uh, it's just used to indicate the location of pads. Therefore, uh, the pad layer is used as an outline for our for, for the uh, pad cell and next step is uh, go here and I will take metal layer ME3 this one I will take and so what actually I am doing here is that uh, this thing here so I am taking a XY snapping of 0.015 and I will just make this edit here as a diagonal this metal layer I will make it maximum so the other metal layers which I had to choose here, uh, I had to take the width and length of them uh, so that they are uh, divisible by 0.15. That's my uh, snapping sp uh, x and y space. So there is uh, uh, nothing else you have to take care of. Uh, this is with the intention to overcome the DRC uh, errors. So first of all, I'm going to this metal three and I'll just press on the rectangle here. This is metal layer 3 and uh, what I am going to do is I am going to make the width and length of this one equal to 60 by 60 I am going to make it ok I just apply it uh, or, uh, that is too small so what I will do is I will make it 75 by 75 Okay, so 75 by 75, and uh, I'll try to orient it at minimum at the safe zone of the DRC so that there is no DRC. Let us say I'm keeping it like this here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So next thing is to use one more metal, uh, yes, ME4 and uh, drawing. Again, one more rectangle I'll plot. So, like this, and uh, like this, I'm going to take width and length of 63 by 63. Okay. Okay. So once this is done, now choose a pin here and give it a name pad and uh, here keep this uh, direction input output and uh, you can give some name here and increase the font size of that label. So let us say I am keeping it 14 and I will just change the font also, I will make it Roman. So ok and press ok. So this 
ring uh, this sorry this pin which i am going to design it has to be exactly as this metal layer 3 so what i am going to do i am going to start exactly at the one corner of this metal layer 3 and uh, it will be metal layer 3 okay yeah like this and uh, give this as a pad okay so once this is done just save it and uh, do DRC so there is no DRC and since there is no circuit and all that uh, so we are not able to do layout uh, LVS so once we are done DRC DRC is cleared just save it and close it now the next step is to make pad frames for this again I'll go in the file new cell view I'll make this pad frames and uh, give again I have to keep layout okay now here I'll initiate the same pad which I have designed earlier I'll initiate that in this workspace I'll go to here in a sense browse tutorials and this is pad here layout and uh, like this I am going to keep it okay so this is the pad which I have initiated from my other cell so what I am going to do here first is I am going to make a pin here because uh, I had to use those pins for my pad frame so what I will do is if I use metal 3 and 4 I will use this metal 5 for my another pin and use 5 and just plot it I had to use the pin here so I'll go here create pin and uh, I'll give this uh, pin 1 okay since I'm going to use array of pins here so I'll, I'll give like this it, uh, it will be explained later also and here same thing I'll make this a bit bigger than that I'll make it 18 and I'll make this Roman is already and, uh, this is it What I'll do is first I'll pro make a rectangle of metal file, then I'll make a pin over that. So like this, like this, I'll make. Hopefully this is uh, in safe zone. Uh, I don't think there will be any DRC for this. Now I'll go. I'll make a pin, pin one, and uh, the same metal I'm going to use, and I'll draw it. For the same. pin 1 ok now I have created the pin here now I have to create the pad frames so now this is important so what I will do is I will select this all and uh, I will press C C is for copy C and then I will press F3 so once I put F3 here so here I have to define the number of rows and number of columns for my array which is a pad frame so I will make it 6 by 6 and hide so what I'll do first without clicking anything so I'll go to, I'll, I'll go to this the cell which is here I'll go to the left corner of this here I think this uh, display is fine here but Again, I'll select it all and uh, I'll press C, C, and then F3, 6 by 6, OK, hide. And I'll go here. The left corner of my instance, click here. And then, without doing anything, go to the right corner, blue corner of the same cell. So, here it is, it is here. here and then one if you if you can zoom in zoom out this one you will see one more cell has come here pad cell 
so go to the right of that bad cell here at the bottom click and we have to zo zo zoom it properly so that there is once you have clicked here go to the top of the same pad which you have copied here Yeah. Okay. Once you click it, that's it. And now what I what I'll do what I'll do is I'll just delete this pin and delete this uh, middle middle pins also. So what I'll do I'll do is like this. is also in the this corner also I'll delete this one this one this one now th this is a basic pad frame if you can see it properly so first of all I'll just save it I'll do DRC here so there is no DRC here now if you remember I have given the label of this pin as pin 1 but uh, they are same so I have to give the name uh, different names for each pin so I'll just go here pin 1 it is here so similarly I'll go here it is pin 2 here apply maybe here in three, play. This is pin five here. Pin five, similarly pin six here. Then pin seven. Pin eight. Pin nine here. This is eleven. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen.
now as you can see here so i have given different labels to all the pads here which will be used as the pins here so the next step is then uh, delete this metal not right here so i just go edit in place yes then i'll delete this so metal 6 is delete here now as can you see here this is the conventional pad frame which i'll be using for my chip so the next step is how to use this in my schematic so what i am going to do is uh, i'll just first save it i'll do this drc so there is no drc moreover if you can use this k k bind key to see the area of your chip how much it's going to so this will be the your area which will be used by your chip so in next uh, uh, video of this uh, i'll i'll show you how to use this pad for uh, some circuit i'll i'll show a brief outline i'll give thank you